Good day, fellow investors. Many of you commented about some weakness in the iron steel sector, so I decided let's take a look at Vale and see where we are now, whether it is a buy. The stock hasn't done much over the last five years, but the dividend yield is staggering, the P ratio is very strong, the market cap is low compared to other iron ore producers and the company has been growing has been developing its projects and that is always the risking a little bit and therefore when you see a dividend yield of 11 percent you might want to take a look they are constantly also expanding operations improvements to make more profits and they also have some copper and nickel copper growing production so always good to add some cash flows 16 billion of debt, not much as they make a lot of money. And they make a lot of money because iron ore prices keep on staying very high, around $100 per ton, which is very high. And you can see here the white lines are always those analyst projections, including myself, that think from a fundamental perspective, iron ore should be somewhere around 60 to 80 but the price is stubborn and if it remains stubborn an 11 percent dividend yield is what to be expected here you can see the comparison of the stubbornness of the price and the consensus estimates we'll discuss that in a moment there is this symmetry in the price in the value and if prices remain at 110 the free cash flow yield from Vale is 17%. Now that's a value investment, no matter how you look at it. However, if prices go down, we are at 3% cash flow yield. That's a scary, scary proposition because there is always something. Vale has a lot of costs to ship that iron ore to China. So that is a little bit there, moisture. 10% on cost so always something but look at this this is the unit costs for production 23 bucks so they produce something at 22 bucks per ton and they sell it at 100 this is a great business you would say wow that's something I want to own a share of great cash conversion there 2 billion in free cash flow per quarter if you add to the market cap at these levels, we are at what 16, 17% cash flow yield. But to keep that and for that to remain as a value investment, they need iron ore prices to stay elevated. Why are iron ore prices elevated? Well, there have been investments, uh, renewables, etc. etc. And if you look at the global iron ore cost curve, you see these very expensive producers, likely in China, that produce to satisfy global demand but keep prices high at 100 or higher. If demand lowers or supply increases just by a little bit to cover for this excess, then prices are already lower, lower, and here you have the 40 dollar cost and everyone is investing rio tinto simandu republic of guinea so they are investing growth every company is investing and there is also this expectation that china that buys all the iron out there almost will start seeing a little bit of decline if you add the decline to the growth in supply then iron ore prices might go down as we have seen that often. Plus, we have not seen a recession for a decade and more, nor in Europe, real recession, nor globally, not discussing the pandemic. So when it comes to iron ore prices, as a value investment, you want to buy a cyclical when it looks ugly. Now Vale looks great, 17% free cash flow yield. You say, whoa, yes. But if there is a recession, a little bit of oversupply, iron ore prices are going down to 60, 50, 40 if there is market dumping, and then the stock price goes down because the market panics, that is exactly the time to look at cyclicals from a value investing perspective. When there is no P ratio, when there are no profits, when the dividend is cut, when there are no buybacks, 
Then you look at the assets, you look at the long-term average cycles, then these guys stop producing, these guys still survive, and then when the cycle turns, you make money from here to here. Now we are here, so <laughs> you can maybe hold for some time, but you can also lose money if this happens. I just wanted to take a look, give you my perspective as always. For now, Vale looks great from a current fundamental basis, but if analysts will eventually be right, there is a recession, whatever, then this is not the place you want to be caught holding the bank. Will it happen? Impossible to know. So even if you have a position, keep in mind it can happen. Wait for it to happen and be ready to add more if it goes 50% lower. That's the key strategy and the key value I think I can add if you are invested in Vale here. When it crashes, and eventually it will, maybe not this decade, maybe next, then we'll dig deeper into commodities, copper, steel. We did that in 2020. And you can always follow that on my research platform. I'll see you in the next video.